So now let's enable AWS config. So I'm in my AWS console and I can search for config and then it will take us to this page if there is no AWS config set up in your account. Then I'm gonna click on get started. So over here, first of all, you need to select which resources that you want to record, resource types. So I'm selecting record all resources supported in this region. You could also select this checkbox, like include global resources as well, like IAM resources. So if I don't check this to checkbox, it will give you individual resources that you can track or record. And see, you can see the list of resources that are available that you can track with AWS config. Out of the box, you can also track your own resources if they are not in the list while writing your custom Lambda. But these are the resources that AWS config provides that we can track. So I'm gonna click on record all resources and include global resources. So AWS config will store the snapshot files and all the data in S3 bucket. So we're gonna select create a bucket or you could choose an existing bucket and it's going to create a bucket with this name and then SNS topic. So whenever there are changes going on uh, or AWS config detects any changes, do you want to stream your changes to an SNS topic? So yes, we are going to select yes and we are going to leave the topic name as default. And then the role. You can either choose a role or the service account role where AWS config will use this role to access your resources. So that's where you use the config role. So while creating uh, AWS config or una enabling AWS config, First, you need to select the resources you want, then the S3 bucket, and optionally, you can select the SNS topic. It's not a mandatory field over here. And then you have to select the service linked role. So then we'll click on next. So over here, you can select a rules that you want to run like, uh, has like for DB instance is backup enabled or for Dynamo DB is auto scaling enabled and there are custom rule I mean there are out of the box these are the rules like some of them are EC2 instances and VPC and things like that you can look at the rules like you want to set some password policy like if your password or nobody has logged in in last 90 days or user hasn't logged it in last 90 days then you get a notification and SSH is only limited to your local networks and outside people cannot SSH into your account. Your root account has M MFA enabled and things like that. So, so these are all the policies available and we're not going to enable any other any of the policies right now. And you can also write your custom policies as well for AWS config or custom rules, I would say. And then I'm going to click on next and then click on confirm. So we have not uh, selected any rules as of this moment. So now I'm gonna click on confirm and this will take a while. So I'm gonna stop the video and then we'll be back once the resources are, or once AWS config is enabled. So now we have created and enabled our AWS config. And after a while, I'm logging into my account and if you see the dashboard, it will show you the total resource count, the number of resources it's tracking. And then when you click on resources over here, you can search for the resources AWS config is recording. So over here, I'm gonna select resource type and you can select multiple resources over here. So I'm gonna search for instance and then click here. You can also search an instance by instance ID. So I'm gonna click look up over here. And you can also include delete a resource. If someone deletes a resource, that doesn't mean you lose track of it. You can also track that. So once you uh, find the instances in your account, so right now I have four instances running. So 
uh, here you'll see the view and then we don't have any rules right now but over here if you click on config timeline it will take you to the timeline like different changes that occurred on this instance at what time and things like that so i rebooted the instance um so over here i rebooted my instance so it will take you to the events section so over here like there are cloud trail events and you need to have cloud trail enabled for this to for this view so if you go to cloud trail events uh, it found that i had stopped and then started my instance and then you can also see the changes section where what changed at what time the ip address changed because i stopped and started the instance and the launch time changed and things like that the dns name changed so all these changes occurred because i stopped the instance and start the, the instance and then the relationship of this instance like it is it has a security group it's inside a subnet it has a volume it has a vpc so here are all the details regarding the instance and the timeline if you go back to your config over here you see the status and right now the stream is saying successfully delivered and configuration history is not available and configure snapshot is not available and don't worry about that we'll look at that uh, we'll give some time for aws config to update all the resources and over here you can also search your resources by tag if you have some instances with a particular name you can search for that and one thing again i would like to mention is not all resources are included over here uh, earlier dynamodb was not included but now we have dynamodb as well dynamodb table auto scaling group and things like that but keep in mind not all resources are supported by aws config but you see a lot of major resources are supported